So I'm going to show you how to read the wiring diagram for a Power Windows system in a 1999 Pontiac Grand Prix GTP. This video is linked to another video of repairing the Power Windows system in this car. You can click on the little picture of it below to go to it. So the first step in looking at a wiring diagram is first identify the major components. This is the left front window switch, which is going to be the focus of this video. This is the left front window motor and regulator assembly, which is the mechanical part of what actually moves up and down. This is the right front window switch, and this is the right front motor and regulator assembly. Looking closer at the left front window switch, we see that there's a side for the passenger and a side for the driver. If we look even closer on the driver's side, we see that there's a more complicated setup for moving the window down. This is because there's an express down and a normal down. I'm going to explain this first because it's the most complicated. The next step in understanding an electrical diagram is to trace the power from the source to the component that you're interested in. We see here that it's coming from the fuse block and it sort of splits off into five branches but they never really complete. The four switches on the switch assembly are circled. These are the mechanical devices that actually help complete the circuit from power to ground. The switch circled in blue is the one that controls the down on the driver's side and it works differently than the other three. So after you trace the power to the relative components, you need to also trace the grounds. It's very important to see how the component is grounded and where it is grounded from. See here that initially, the motor on the driver's side is connected to ground on both sides, meaning that it doesn't run. When the switch is pressed to the normal down position, it sends a signal to the express down module. This module then energizes a coil which moves the switch via a magnetic field that completes the circuit for the motor assembly. The motor then runs in one direction. When the driver switches to express down, the same exact thing applies except it moves the switch even further. This curved part is a variable resistor. When the current has to go through the entire curved part of the resistor, it loses power and the motor runs slowly. But in the current position, that curved section is bypassed, meaning that the current doesn't encounter resistance and the motor runs more quickly, meaning express down. Next we're going to look at moving the window up. Specifically, we're going to look at this switch because we're still on the driver's side. We notice that one side of the motor is already connected to ground. Therefore, all the driver has to do is switch the switch up to connect the other side of the motor to power and it runs the motor in the opposite direction because the current is flowing in the opposite direction. All the other switches work in exactly the same way. If we look at the passenger side, we see that initially the motor is connected to ground on both sides as the driver's side was, meaning that it's not running. When the up switch is switched, it applies power to one side of the motor, meaning current flows in one direction through the motor and the motor spins in one direction. When the down switch is pressed, all it does is apply power to the other side of the motor, which makes current flow in the other direction, which makes the motor turn in the opposite direction. Notice when both switches are pressed at the same time, all it does is apply power to both sides of the motor, which means the motor won't run. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.